Good news for some folks in New Jersey who are saving money through a 529 account. Stick around. Welcome to the Maluli Asset Show. I'm your host, Tom Maluli. Today we want to talk about New Jersey 529s. The state of New Jersey now offers a tax break for the first time ever for folks who are putting money in a 529 for education expenses for someone in their family. And by way of review, it doesn't necess- you don't necessarily have to have a 529 for a son or daughter Of course, you could start one for a grandchild, but you could also have a 529 account for yourself or your spouse. So uh, New Jersey uh, taxpayers can now put, uh, they can now deduct up to $10,000 a year uh, from their New Jersey taxable income if they're putting this money into a 529. So here's an example, suppose your gross income for New Jersey, not federal, but for New Jersey, your gross income is $150,000. And you put $10,000 into a 529 account during the year. Your income for New Jersey is now not 150, but actually 140. So there is a small tax break that you do get. It's not a tax credit. But it is something where there used to be nothing. So that's actually pretty good. Um, But as usual, something that comes from the government, there are a couple of strings that you need to know about. Uh, The first is uh, it's not available to folks who have an income that exceeds $200,000. That's a problem because living in New Jersey, you need a lot of income. So the other part of this is, the other string is, you have to do the 529 through NJ Best, which is the New Jersey version of the 529 account. So you can get a 529 account that's based in New York, Connecticut, Nebraska. Uh, You can pick really from any state, but if you wanna get this tax deduction, you have to do the NJ Best plan. Now, you need to know something about NJ Best. You can do it direct, or you can do it, you can open an NJ Best account through a broker or an advisor. We don't recommend going through a broker or an advisor because you're gonna pay a commission and you're probably gonna have some additional fees. You can do this right through the NJ Best website. It's very easy and you can just follow the steps. If you need help going through that, you can talk to an advisor like us. We'll walk you through it. There's not gonna be any kind of charge for that. And the other, the third string, of course, you have to be a New Jersey resident, a New Jersey taxpayer. One of the other questions that comes up is, what can we use this 529 account for? It used to only be for higher education, for college. In the last few years, things have become a little more relaxed. You can use the, the money that's in a 529 account for high school costs. For say you're, you've got a student who's going to a private high school or a Catholic school, you can use money that's in a 529 for these expenses that do come up. So they have broadened or given a lot more latitude to what you can use the 529 accounts for. And we've mentioned in a podcast, they're they're continuing to make more and more changes to 529s. It's worth taking a look at if you've got someone in your family that may be going to college down the road. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Make sure to check back for our next episode coming up.